students and welcome to your Display My Art video art lesson. Did you know that there is an artist in almost everyone just waiting to come out? It's true! In just a few minutes we're going to help you let that artist out and share your creativity with everyone you know. Just follow along with the lesson plan and give it your very best because after you create it, your family and friends get to display it. That's right, the amazing art that you have created will be magically turned into different kinds of items for everyone to enjoy. How cool is that? Imagine Dad's favourite new coffee mug with, you guessed it, your very own art displayed on it. Or how about Grandma rocking a brand new smartphone case designed by you? She'll be the hit of the bingo hall. T-shirts, mouse pads, you name it, your artwork can be on all of it. So, you'll need to focus, get ready, get creative, get your groove on. The lesson plan is about to begin. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget, the most important thing is to have fun. I mean, really, that is what art should be about, don't you think? Enjoy! We love being creative with you! Hi boys and girls, my name is Amy and I'm an artist here at Display My Art and I'm going to be your art teacher today. We're going to be learning a lesson about a famous artist named Keith Haring. Keith Haring moved to New York City in 1978 and tried to use the city as his canvas. He began doing chalk drawings in the subway stations and soon became one of the most popular artists of recent generations. Haring opened the Pop Shop in New York City in 1986 to make his art more accessible to people. The store sold posters, t-shirts, and other items with his artwork and designs. He was also interested in many social causes and did more than 50 public works and held numerous workshops for children in the city. Keith Haring did pictures of people in very simple ways, so I'm going to show you how he drew his people, but yours doesn't have to look exactly like his, or exactly like mine, or the kids next to you. Yours is going to look like your own. We're going to start with a really simple drawing of a head. Now you should draw your interests. I'm going to draw a picture of a person painting because I'm an artist and that's what I like to do. But you might like to draw somebody playing soccer or tennis or whatever sport you like playing or any interests that you have. So make sure you make this creative to you. I'm going to draw some arms. One arm is going to be holding a paintbrush. I'm going to draw really simple hands. I'm going to put a palette with paint in his hand. Draw some really simple lines for legs. I'm going to draw his legs a little bit crossed. Draw a paintbrush in his hand. And I'm going to draw a canvas where he's painting his picture on an easel. Because when I'm at home, that's how I like to paint. Okay, now we can get started coloring. Keith Haring liked to use nice bright colors to make his artwork really pop. So you should choose some nice bright vibrant colors. I'm making my background yellow. And I'm going to make it kind of like a sunburst. Because when I paint and draw, I feel inspired. And that's what this makes me think of. But you can choose the colors 
that inspire you and that you think of when you're doing your interests. And we could put some orange by the yellow so it's nice and bright. And then I'm going to finish the inside with some red. You can see what this looks like when it's done. Keith Haring liked to do really simple cartoons. He learned his cartooning style from his dad, but he was also inspired by great artists like Walt Disney and Dr. Seuss, who I know you've probably heard of. He liked to do simple motions on his drawing, so he would draw little curved lines to show motions. I put them on my drawing to show it looked like I was painting. So you can draw little curved lines to show yourself, give yourself some movement, or if you have ideas, sometimes he put them over his head. One really important thing that I don't want anybody to forget doing, take a nice black marker and draw your name. But you did a great job. Your colors are bright and bold and your parents are going to love it. They're gonna be really proud of you. And I can't wait to see your artwork come in. Okay, kids, great job. We really hope that you enjoyed your time with us here at Display My Art. The rest is easy, but oh, so important. Now that you've created your own personal work of art, you need to do just one more thing. Go home and share what you did with everybody. Be sure to tell your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers and sisters. You can even tell your dog if you'd like. I would. Tell them all that you will be getting a free brochure to bring home. It will look like a little magazine with your art on the cover. And the inside will show the different things your art can go on. Pretty cool, huh? But it gets even cooler than that. Each of you also get your very own free magnet with your artwork on it. It's yours to keep, so show it off to anyone you can think of. Now, give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. You've created something so special that your family will be amazed. They're going to love it so much that you may just find yourself getting extra ice cream for dessert. And finally, invite people to displaymyart.com where they can buy your artwork on anything they want because not only is it cool, but it will help your school raise money for you. And again, we hope you had fun. What you've created is really special, and we love it too.